I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. How fit to be the boss? Let me find out. My team bowling, you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'ma shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. If you ain't a winner, then don't come round. On my way to another city, it's a touchdown. Under late, yeah, I gotta get it in a rush now. Let them hate, try to knock me down, but we got up now. You say that you bowling, keep it real though. Hey, why I never saw you in the field though? Hey, I make it look easy, it's a field goal. I've been grinding for a minute and I'm still going. How fit to be the boss? Let me find out. My team bowling, you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'ma shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. How fit to be the boss? Let me find out. My team bowling, you look like you need a timeout. I'm a star in the clutch, I'ma shine out. Working hard, yeah, I'm back on my grind now. Game on, took a loss, but I stay strong. Super Bowl rings, I just wanna play off. Gotta go hard, I can never play soft. Giant in New York, I run it back like Saquon. Catch me lacking. Bank account for my son, he won't have to struggle. You can see it in my eyes, all I do is hustle. They tried to knock me off my feet, I'm ready to rumble. Felt like I ain't eight in weeks, working off the muscle. Oh yeah, oh my, we ride for my brothers, no lie. All you, all you can die, never wrong, they right. I ain't changing my side, yeah, we in it for life. If you and I've been up, magic. With the gang, we ball out, it can get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dream's reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laugh. Hey, how could you lie to my face? People claim that they be loyal, they be taking up space. See my Roski lose his heart when he was fighting that case. Took so many yells, I'm not going back to those days. I'ma treat you how you treat me, do you like how it tastes? Shawty use a use of can't treat you like my ace. I got way too many problems to be worried, I'm straight. Me and Craig, Craig had to watch for the jakes on the road this road crazy i get 80 a show say my money stack it up and look like i'm like i'm like foreign cars driving fast i never done this before get get on out my problems let me let me when i've been up it's magic with the gang we ball out it can get tragic all we got we gonna let you let you have it stuck in my ways think i need to change my habits what would you do if you were me and didn't have look in the mirror now Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen Now my dream's reality, not going back to back to back You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laughing
Coach, thanks. As mentioned, we are on the north shore of Pittsburgh. It's sold out Heinz Field in the Steel City. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Dallas Cowboys and the Pittsburgh Steelers. The children will groan. It's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway on EA Sports. And they will not get a chance to return Let's this go, one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Ended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And now it looks like we've got a Cowboy shaken up down there on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. They run it for the first time with Tony Pollard. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. First down, and it's Pollard again. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game of the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Second and nine now. He finds his target. It's Schultz. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Now back to throw. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. Here's Pollard. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. On second down, it's Pollard. And he'll go down at the 28. Back-to-back -back four yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And they'll work it inside the 15 yard line before it's all said and done. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play call, and you go through... And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Dalton Schultz, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. 
Any weapon. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. The Steelers able to pick up 18 yards there. Defense gives up a touchdown the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. First carry for James Conner. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. Joe McCoy is always going to be linked with Indomitian Sue. They came into the NFL in the same draft class. There was a lot of debate about who was going to be the better defensive tackle. They just do it two different ways. McCoy, more movement, more elusiveness. That allowed him to make the play there for a short game. Roethlisberger going to get this one to Connor and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. On second down, Connor looking for space. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Now they'll throw it with Roethlisberger. Being chased out left. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it. Incomplete. It's not like pressure to affect the accuracy and the timing of a guy trying to throw the football. And on that play, they ended up flushing him to his left, contacted him as he's trying to throw the football, and that led to the incompletion. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Now Roethlisberger, and it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. They'll try to surge ahead with Connor. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So instead of forcing the field goal, it'll be first and goal. Yeah, the force was trying to make something happen that just didn't need to, right? I mean, the plays happen, let it go. It's over. Instead, he creates a penalty. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. They'll run with Samuels. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Jalen Samuels, his second touchdown on the season. As they are now on the board here in the first half. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. 
add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. This is taken at the three. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the... Yard line, great return at their own 42 yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Second and six. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. He'll look to throw. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's Elliott. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Staying on his feet. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. The sack by T.J. Watt, or as his mother Connie calls him, Trent Jordan Watt. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And they're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. The Steelers pick over first and ten. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They'll start the drive with Samuels. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Now the pass finding its way into the hands of Eric Ebron. And all the way down to the 29. It's a big play there for the Steelers. 43 yards. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On first down, it's Samuels. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. Leighton Vanderash on the tackle. A gain of four. 
Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang at Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. They'll run with Samuels, and they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. But think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. That's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. From the red zone now, here's Roethlisberger on first down. Setting up the screen, this is Samuels. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. They come out here in the eye. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. Crunch time, defense. Go, go. Check, 55 to Mike. Check, 55 to Mike. Let's go. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. The quick slant caught. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. There's Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this Cowboy defense comes up with a goal line stand. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL. And it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at his four. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. That went into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll bring up a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On third down, Roethlisberger. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, 
oftentimes interceptions result. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. They'll set up a throw. And he'll have his man. That's Cooper. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10, eluding the pressure right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. touchdown. Dalton Schultz with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Zerline good with a PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Don Terry Poe marches in for the sack. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Finding room at the 30, and that will be incomplete. Uh, we're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Fielded at about the 28. Nearly a huge return, as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. A play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Devin Bush able to take him down. It's a loss of three. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Now Pollard takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? coming up and making the big-time play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's McKenzie. 21 yards there on third down. They go play action here on first down. Going for it all. 
And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. Oh, very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Amari Cooper, the intended target, but it'll be second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Second and 10. Trying for Cooper again. This time he finds it. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move. And when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. This will be fielded at the six. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line right around the 36. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Roethlisberger now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Roethlisberger into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised. But that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. Bud Dupree, a former first-round pick, in on the stop. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Second and nine now. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. They run the counter. Pollard. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Sometimes a group that gets overlooked, certainly, the offensive line. Right there, they really helped with that score. Didn't they tell us in our meeting that when we score touchdowns, running the ball, that means the offensive line actually scored first by moving people back beyond the end zone. We saw evidence of that on that play. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. A well-executed 22-yard gain. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Roethlisberger will throw. Completes it to Ajayi. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. We can talk all we Got his man, it's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Deontay Johnson. His second touchdown on the season. And the Steelers are able to cut into that deficit. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop. Stopping behind the line. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. As to you said big third down, I'd put the word big in capital letters here. They're going to look to throw. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt and in a big way. Run for Pollard. Room here to run. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Cowboys turn that interception into a touchdown. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point.
And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here we go, here we go. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice, long, soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. You better bring it. I'm letting you know right now, you better bring it. Now Roethlisberger. Ebron with it over the middle. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Open man, Smith-Schuster. It's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 38-yard line. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well thrown ball. Exactly right, Gal. The guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time, and that'll bring up second down. Like 80. Mike 54. Mike 54. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. Again, it's Roethlisberger. Short little throw to Ebron. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. Play action. Now Roethlisberger. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. As he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. To throw again is Roethlisberger. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the target once again, but it'll be second and goal. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Then to throw again. That is caught. It's Juju for the Steeler touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Steelers are able to close the gap just a bit. Connor going to try and run it. And he's going to get into the end zone for two. And they're back within two scores. Down 15 now. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This one fielded at the five. Now a hit and a loose football. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. 
I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and, hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So for Dallas, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 and one now on the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Pittsburgh, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home. Shot. I got all the intangibles. He the leash. I'm a beast. I'm an animal. He the cop. 